let's take a look at this very simple example, but very powerful example. And what I'm going to do here is actually I'm going to answer the question that's why we should use classes, not functions and variables. Why do we need uh, classes at all? So with this very simple example, I'm going to demonstrate well, what the difference is between using cl classes and uh, and uh, in contrast using functions and variables without using classes. So basically these days uh, in every application you can see there is a, a user profile and basically uh, and you need to deal with users. So the very first thing you need to do actually build the infrastructure to deal with users. Uh, so here, for example, in my in, in this very simple application, I have two users. So uh, in this example, I'm not going to use classes. It's simply using uh, functions and variables. So consider the situation that you have two users. And here, I want to show the user's age. So uh, if I if I don't use a structure or a model or a class, I need to use different variables for different fields. For example, here, I'm going to say that the name of the first user uh, variable is user1 underline name. And for username, the same. User1 underline username. User1 underline birth underline year. These are the variable uh, variable names for the fields I want for this specific user. Uh, and also, I have the same thing for another user. If I want to keep the information for, for Jack, uh, I need to define other variables for name, username, and birth year. And probably you could have tens of fields for a simple user. So it's not really a good way to actually use uh, variables instead of a structure. So here, basically, I keep the information for the user in these variables. And when I want to, uh, for example, calculate the age of the user, here is the function that uh, is able to calculate the uh, age of the user based on the birth year. So the current year is 2021 so I'm not gonna make it complicated here you can use a module for dates for example time module to get the uh, current year but uh, I'm just trying to uh, make it as simple as possible so here we have 2021 for current year and the function is really simple it it's gonna return current year minus birth year uh, which is the age of the user. So, and I want to show the age of the user uh, as the output. So I say print. Now we have the same example with the same result, but uh, with using classes in Python. And as you can see, it's already uh, very beautiful. It's in order. It's uh, not that confusing as uh, was before and uh, just a moment I'm gonna show you uh, how it makes uh, life easier okay okay basically to define a class in Python you need to use class keyboard as I did here so after that you uh, bring you should bring the name of the class you want and here the class I want to create is uh, I call it user and uh, basically it's really important that uh, you uh, it's not a it's not a uh, rule you're not forced to do this but uh, it's better to uh, name the name of the class we, uh, starting with an upper case letter. So here uh, I started the name with uppercase U. And for variables, you for for functions, you simply use um, lowercase letters, and that that's the difference between uh, classes and functions. And th this is the way that you can understand or which one is 
class and which one is function but uh, as I told you it's not you're not forced to do this you can I can use for example uh, lowercase letter as well uh, uh, it's not a problem in Python okay after that uh, so here the very first method we, we call this function uh, we call the function inside a class uh, uh, as method we call them methods so the first method we have inside the a class is is in it and we need to have a method like this uh, Python recognizes this uh, method and so we don't we shouldn't use this uh, method for other purposes and here the very first method we have is underline the line in it and underline underline you need to use double on the line here. So uh, basically, it defines the uh, the object we want to create. With the, uh, it defines the instance we want to create of this class. Uh, okay. Uh, it basically says that uh, this method gets three uh, uh, arguments or three variable, and then uh, with self, actually, we say that we want to use this specific instance or this specific object. Uh, I'm gonna explain it in just a moment, uh, but uh, just remember this: that self means that that particular uh, object we're dealing with. So here we want to say that I get first name as the input, and then. Uh, put it in first name variable inside this object and uh, as you can see here uh, I want to define the first user as user1 and I want to say that I want to have a model of user or have a class of user uh, actually we call this creating an instance of, uh, of uh, user class so here I, I say that I want to have an instance of this class with these inputs John as the first name, JJ1 as the username, and 90, 1990 as the birth year for this specific uh, uh, user. So what it does is, act, is that uh, it actually uh, get the, uh, gets the input from here and then put John inside its uh, inside the class in inside the object now now we have a separate we have a separate space separate object for this user one so we have a separate uh, space in memory for this user and uh, now it, it says that uh, if in this particular object we have John as the first name JJ1 as the username and so on and for the second user for user 2 I'm, I want to create a same uh, user with same structure but with different uh, values. So now in in memory, I have another space called user two with these uh, with these uh, inputs. So now I have user one and user two with with this structure as I defined here with user class. So now uh, uh, I don't. I don't have multiple variables for user one. I, on, I have only one variable for user one, and I can access all the uh, data I want uh, from this uh, specific object. So here I, uh, I want to create another method to calculate the age. I'm not going to use a separate function. I'm going to use a function inside this uh, class. So here I say that I want to have a method called uh, age 
And basically here, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before in in this example. And what I uh, what I did here is actually uh, so uh, instead of getting input, getting Berthier as the input, I have self. Actual self is this is the is the is the same object. For example, here it says that if I say user one, uh, if I say for example user one age, it means uh, that self means that user one. So here it uh, it looks at what we have here as the first name for user one. Uh, I hope it. So after this, uh, it it get it gets the birth year for for user one, which is uh, 9090, and then uh, subtracted from 2021, and in result we have the age of this particular user. And finally, I have another method to show this result. I'm gonna say that print first first name and then calculate the age and show the final message. So here, uh, again, I don't use inputs. Uh, the only thing I have here is self, which, uh, which is the reference for uh, user one. If I say user one prints age, It means that when you use when you want to use print age, use user one information. So here I basically say that I want to have a first name for user one, and then uh, I want to access to the method age, and it goes to this method here, and then do the same thing again. And now the only thing I need to do for showing the message the the age message. Uh, is that I uh, first I define user one and user two, and then the only thing I need to do is say that uh, user one print age without passing any argument or any variable uh, into the function because uh, uh, all the variables I need are already there. Let's try this example uh, and let's see what happens. Python and with class. Uh, well, as you can see, the result is exactly the same as before, but the code here is very clean. The code is really efficient. It's easy to read the code, to understand the code. And if you want to, have, if you want to have tens of fields for, for your user model, uh, you don't need to uh, actually define tens of uh, variables. It's not really efficient. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was a really simple demonstration of why we use classes instead of using functions and variables, What's what the difference is exactly. And as you saw, this is the uh, actually the most important reason. It's not the only reason. It's not limited to this, but the most important reason uh, that we use classes is to make our code uh, cleaner. Okay, if you enjoyed this, please hit subscribe and hit like. And uh, thank you. Have a good time. Bye-bye.